Pipeline construction and maintenance is a highly regulated, strictly monitored practice with continuous involvement from federal, state, and local entities, as well as Tennessee gas engineers and safety experts. The construction process begins with land survey crews marking the construction corridor, center line of the pipeline, utilities, road crossings, and other environmental areas of consideration. The construction corridor will then be cleared and graded to remove brush, trees, roots, and other obstructions such as large rocks and stumps. The corridor will be graded to provide a level surface and safe working area for the pipeline crews to build and install the pipe. The process of grading the corridor may require blasting rock ledge to accomplish a safe working area. The topsoil will be removed and segregated along the working corridor for use during restoration. The center line of the pipeline is then staked in preparation of trenching along the pipeline corridor. In areas characterized by normal soils, the trench for the pipeline is excavated by crawler-mounted rotary wheel type trenching machines, or track-mounted excavators. The trench width and depth will be in accordance with U.S. DOT regulations. The excavated ditch bottom in areas of rocky soil conditions will be padded with clean soil to protect the pipe coating during installation. Pipe will be delivered to the pipeline storage areas and will be placed along the right-of-way in a continuous line in preparation of welding operations. Bending of the pipe will be required to allow the pipeline to follow the natural grade changes and direction changes of the right-of-way. Selected joints will be field bent by track mounted hydraulic bending machines. For larger horizontal changes of direction, manufactured induction bends may be used. Following stringing and bending, the joints of pipe will be placed on temporary supports adjacent to the trench, carefully aligned and welded together by welders qualified according to applicable American National Standards Institute, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, and American Petroleum Institute standards. A Tennessee-approved welding inspector will conduct the welder qualification testing and document all test results. The pipeline joint lengths and identification numbers will be recorded. Each deflection angle in the pipe will be documented as part of the pipeline permanent records. Our projects also leverage the latest in pipeline monitoring and safety technology. For example, we ensured that the assembled pipe meets or exceeds the design strength requirements using X-ray or another approved test method. Electronic equipment is also used to inspect the coating quality and any damage is repaired. Once the pipeline has been welded together, coated and inspected, the pipe is lowered into the trench. Once the pipeline has been lowered into the ditch, the survey crews will document the location of the pipeline using GPS instruments. This will become a permanent record for the life of the pipeline. The pipe is then padded and backfilled using special material to protect the coating, as well as the material originally excavated from the trench. A soil crown may be placed above the trench to accommodate any future soil settlement. Hydrostatic testing involves the pipeline being filled with water and maintained at a test pressure and duration in compliance with applicable federal regulations. Disturbed areas are smoothed out and the area is cleared of remaining construction items. Erosion control measures are put in place, including site-specific contouring, permanent slope breakers, mulching, and reseeding or sodding with soil holding vegetation. Construction sites undergo thorough restoration and every effort is made to leave the area in its original condition, including seeding and replanting based on landowner, community, and agency requirements.